On top of another breaking story, uh, this one happening last night in Gwinnett County. Three people are dead, two others are injured, and two separate shootings in that county. So Atlanta News First reporter Rebecca Schramm is live at Gwinnett County Central Police Precinct. Rebecca, I imagine people would be on edge driving past all these crime scenes. What do we know about the shootings? Well, Lana, they happened in a span of about four hours. Now, the scenes are about 20 minutes apart, and it does not look like they are in any way related. But, yeah, the detectives here in this county have a lot of work to do today. They've got their hands full. What a violent night. Take a look. We'll start with the most recent case. That one happened in Decula at a home on Jonah Trail. That was about 11 p.m. When officers arrived, they found a man dead from a gunshot wound. They believe the shooting stemmed from a confrontation between two men. Police tell us the homeowner called it in and everyone involved stayed on the scene. Everyone that was uh, involved in the in the altercation is presumed to be here. Uh -huh. um, so we're still trying to ascertain who is the victim, who is the suspect at this point. Now let's tell you about the shooting in Lawrenceville at about 7 p.m. last night. In this one, four people were shot, two of them killed. This was on Baldridge Drive, just a couple of miles from the Central Police Precinct where I am now. Police tell us when they arrived, they found two males, we don't know their ages, dead in the front yard and two other males with gunshot wounds. That case also started with some sort of argument or confrontation, according to police. No description yet of any suspect or suspects. Investigators are investigating motive, uh, what led up to the to the shooting um, and all that. But there was an argument that led up to the shooting. Uh, we don't know the nature of that or what that argument was about. So we're going to stay in touch with detectives in both of those cases and we will let you know when we get the names of the victims. Live in Gwinnett County, Rebecca Schramm, Atlanta News First.